and today I'm at Hacienda and this is their menu and uh, one thing I was just gonna not do a review here I was just gonna go somewhere else but you know what I opened up the menu and I saw this trash can nachos and uh, you can see right there it's stacked and ready to share twelve dollars and ninety nine cents uh, it's got all kinds of stuff um, we're not talking trash bro we're talking towers of nacho goodness that's what it says right there I, and you can get uh, let's see you can get um, try it with pulled pork with white cheese it's a combo primo so I'm definitely gonna get this it's got jalapenos it's got lettuce it's got cheese it's got pulled pork it's got black olives it's got sour cream it's got a little bit of guacamole there it's stacked up tall and high um, obviously it's got the nacho chips so you can get your choice of pulled pork seasoned ground beef shredded chicken or beef and blackened beans golden chili corn queso or white cheese so let's see guys we're gonna go with the Ooh, I don't know I like the I do like the white queso so I might go with that I do not know how much calories this is but I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be extreme amount let me let me give this to camera mom camera mom try to make sure you keep me there you go okay camera mom so that's what we're gonna do guys here at Hacienda today we're gonna do the trash can nachos I'm gonna go ahead and go with the um, what do you think camera mom shredded chicken or actually the pulled pork. I'm gonna go with That's the, up to you. I'm gonna go with the pulled pork. It shows the picture of the pulled pork. Right. And I'm gonna go with the it don't show does it show the corn or the white queso in this picture? I think it shows the corn. So I'm gonna go with the um, golden chili corn queso. That's what I'm gonna go with. So it's con queso. Con queso. Golden chili, that's what I said. That's what you I said, said corn. No, that's what I said. <laughs> so, okay. We'll be right back with this corn queso, or con queso. <laughs> All right. Voila! Wow. wow, look at that big old stack of nachos there. Isn't that cool? Did you get it? Did you get a picture? Not a picture. Thank you. No, that'd be all. I think we're good. Wow, guys. So this is the. Uh, eat that jalapeno. Right there. Grab it and eat it. Grab it. This is the uh, trash can nachos. And as you can see, it came in an actual like old coffee. Uh -oh. tin can and they made it stack up and that was their trash can nacho so um that's a little pinko de what is it called pinko de gallo pinko de gallo on there all right so let's try to get to uh, i don't know how to tackle this so this is the top part just go here. in for it we're just gonna go in for it guys we're just, just gonna go down here there's some pork there it is all right so we're just gonna pull it out of there there's pork and black beans I don't have any sour cream on this bite. It's right there. If you notice the tips on top are look a little bit more crispier because they don't have everything else weighing down on them and all that. The pork's really good. This is a really cool, unique way to do their nachos. Uh, you can take your fork and maybe get some of that on there and grab some like this and you can just eat away I guarantee it if you eat this whole thing you're probably eating way over a thousand calories it's really cool I like how they brought it out $12.99 is kind of expensive but guess what you're getting a big a large amount of food wouldn't you say camera mom mm -hmm. it's so, huge it is huge here's my hand this is the plate. And it was taller than that. All this stuff fell. Yeah, it was like right here. All this stuff fell. It's on top. They got jalapenos. I but yeah, here's sir. the corner of the plate. My hand is at the edge of the plate. You have to eat everything on that plate. Including That's plate. not going to happen. Including Look at that. Plate. Really good. Has it got enough light? Mm -hmm. That is pretty neat. I don't know who came up with that. I don't know if it was... Uh, 
something that was done by the corporate or or just someone here locally, but it's really cool, really unique. I like how it's illustrated. Like, it's really illustrated. presented. Yeah, yeah it, when they said trash can nachos, you're expecting just to get a bunch of nachos piled on a plate, but the fact that it comes in a little tin can that they do all this stuff with, and it's really cool. So the presentation, it gets a 10. Um, it tastes good. Everything tastes good, guys. From what I can get to, the nachos, some of the nachos in the middle are a little soggy, but what do you expect? They have tons of stuff weighing them down. The rest of the top are really good. Everything tastes fresh. Even just, I've had one jalapeno in my mouth, and it did taste fresh. The pork tastes great. So, on a scale of one to 10. He's double handed in it. <laughs> yeah, it's so big, you got to. On a scale of one to 10, and I'm not eating all this right now. I'll eat some of it, take some of it home and eat later. On a scale of one to 10, one being worse, 10 being the best. At Hacienda here, I give the trash can nachos a solid 10. I, I don't mind the price. I like how much food you get. And I like uh, the presentation. So it's really cool. Um, wow. There's the pork. Wow. It's good. So, wow. Let me let me take one more breath. That pork is definitely juicy. I probably just got something all over my mouth. That is really good, guys. Guys, everything they said. What, what was that? Con, con queso, corn con queso is, is really good. No corn. No corn. Chili con queso. Chili. Chili con queso is really good. You could get the white cheese instead if you want it. But I like how I just got it, so I'm really happy with this trash can nachos. Like I said, it gets a 10 out of 10 here at Hacienda. Definitely, if you live near Hacienda, see if they have it. If not, you might have to travel to Evansville, Indiana and try the trash can nachos nachos, because they're worth a try. Guys, that's all I have for this Sunday afternoon. Hope you enjoy this pretty unique uh, food review of the trash can nachos at Hacienda. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And until next time, happy eating, be safe, and uh, I'll see you. Hopefully I'm not in a food coma next Friday.